Hi, I'm Darren Hartwell here in the Nesson Studios. We're talking fantasy baseball, and today it's all about value. I think there are a lot of big names who might not put up the big numbers that we expect. The first guy on that list is Twins' first baseman, Joe Maurer. You'll notice I emphasize first baseman for Maurer, who finally isn't eligible as a catcher anymore. I think that switch greatly decreases his fantasy value. He's always been a guy who hits for high average, and that's really valuable at the catcher position. Now that he's at first base, there are plenty of guys out there that can give you the offensive stats that you need. His average also plummeted to 277 last year. I'd expect that to rise a little bit this year, but again, he's a first baseman. You can find plenty of other options out there. The next guy on my list is pitcher Shelby Miller for the Braves. He made a splash in his rookie season in 2013 with a 15-9 record and 3.06 ERA, but that jumped to 3.74 in 2014, and his strikeout rate dropped from 23% to 17%. He had his struggles with walks last season with the Cardinals too, and that coincided with a major dip in production. I think he still has the talent, and maybe a fresh start with the Braves could be when he needs to turn things around. Then again, I don't really see him recreating those rookie numbers. A lot of people might still be high on Miller, but after last season's dip in production, I would wait a little bit longer for the later rounds if you're going to take a chance on him. The last guy on my list is Brandon Phillips, second baseman for the Reds. Phillips is a big name. He's always been a fantasy producer. He's been to all-star games, all of that. But last year, he had just 499 plate appearances. That's the first time in nine years, nearly nine years, they just had 500 plate appearances or less. I just think at 33 years old, it's tough to expect a guy like Phillips to put up the numbers that we're expecting him to. Phillips is still a viable fantasy option, and there are definitely worse second basemen out there. I just think that there are owners that in your draft that might reach higher for Phillips based on his name and that person shouldn't be you. For all your fantasy updates and needs, make sure you visit Nesson.com.